Hi guys, my name is Jordan and welcome to my beauty channel. So, this is my first makeup video I've ever filmed before. I had a little bit of a trip with it because it's hard, man. I did not know that there was so much work you had to put in this stuff and like all this different stuff just going on. It was it was a lot of work. I actually had like my tripod fall over on me a couple times. I got some eyeliner on my contact messed up a few things so just bear with me in this video if it's not the best because this is my first time moving on today we're going to be creating recreating this makeup look um, I just did the eyes for you guys and I'm gonna be using the dream street Kathleen lights and color pop new shadow palette it's not really new it's been out for probably about a month now I've actually owned this palette for probably two weeks and have been playing around with it and I just wanted to come on here and show you guys one of my favorite eye makeup looks to create with this palette. I do absolutely love, love, love this palette. It's $16 on ColourPop.com. I will link it down below if you guys are interested in recreating this makeup look that I created or if you just want to get your hands on it yourself. There are some amazing, gorgeous shades in here. Some of my favorites and they just work beautifully. They're amazingly pigmented and really easy to blend. So without further ado, if you guys want to see how I got this eye makeup look, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking my Laura Mer Mercier Eye Basics Primer in the shade Wheat, and I'm just going to be applying this to my eyelids. This is a very important step. It's going to make sure your eyeshadow stays on all day, it blends very evenly, and the pigmentation is going to be there. It's going to be popping. Then I'm just going to be taking my Eco Tools Damp Little Beauty Sponge, and I'm just going to be blending that out all over the eyelid, making sure I get it blended out very evenly. This is very important. And then just doing the same thing on the other side. Alright, the next thing I'm going to be doing is taking my Elizabeth Mott blending brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Magical right here. And I'm going to be using this as my transition shade in my crease. And I'm just going to be blending it in circular motions back and forth in the crease. And I'm going to bring it a little higher than my natural crease. Just to add a little bit extra shading definition. And then I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side. As you guys can tell, these shades are very pigmented, very beautiful, and they blend so easily. I love, love, love this palette. All right, the next thing I'm going to be doing is taking my e.l.f. blending brush, going in with the shade Potion, and I'm going to be blending that into the crease as well, but I'm not going to be tanking it up as higher as I did the transition shade. I'm going to actually be setting it a little bit lower than that. This is going to really carve out the crease. And yet again, I'm using circular motions back and forth in the crease. And you kind of want to use a light hand when you're doing this, just to make sure everything blends out very smoothly and easily. I'm going in back again with the shade Magical, and I'm just going to be using it Oops, <laughs> just going to be using it to blend out any harsh edges and to add some color. And I'm applying this just like I did the first time in circular motions back and forth in the crease and taking it up a little bit higher than the natural crease just to blend out that color we added. The next thing I'm doing is taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to be carving out my crease with this and I'm taking the Eco Tools Flat Detailer Brush and I'm going to be blending this out using a patting motion. You're patting the concealer down onto your eye. You don't want to be swiping this or any way, shape or form. It's just going to be your product around, going to move the concealer around and it's not going to be pretty. So make sure you're patting it down as you see me doing here. And then, obviously, I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other eye. All 
Alrighty, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be taking my Luxie 213 T brush and I'm dipping it into the shade Stardust. Packing it on there real good. And I'm gonna be spraying it with the Cover FX Eliminating Spray. And then I'm just gonna be applying this in the outer two thirds of my eye, just packing it down just like I did the concealer. Don't wanna swipe this, packing it down. You wanna pack this shade on there. You don't want this color to go anywhere. All right, and doing the same thing on the other side, just packing it onto the outer two thirds of my eye, bringing it in and blending it kind of up into the crease. And then I'm gonna be taking a small little brush from Eco Tools, and I'm gonna be taking the shade Sweet Dreams and applying that to the very inner corner of my eye and kind of connecting it where the crease ended blending it out into the shade Stardust to make sure there are no harsh lines or anything like that. Everything blends very easily like a sunset, a beautiful sunset. <laughs> then I'm going back in with the shade Elfish and I'm gonna be using the Elf creasing brush and I'm taking this in a C kind of motion on the outer V of my eye, just to darken up the edges. I like that name, Elfish. It's so cute. <laughs> All right, and then I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush. I think this is from Soho. I think I got it like Fred's or something. And I just take this to blend out any harsh edges, You're doing a circular motion back and forth. All right, the next thing I'm doing is taking my Super Cat liner. This is from Dirty Works. And I wish me luck, guys. I'm going in. <laughs> I'm just going to be taking it kind of in the middle first and then drawing a wing out. Give me a second. It's, it's harder than it looks to do your eyeliner on camera or with a mirror in your hand. It's harder than it looks. So then I'm just flicking that wing right back in and just drawing it out, making it a little sharper at the end wasn't as sharp as I wanted it. Don't know why I did the three taps on my face, but I did. And then just dragging it in as much as you can. And it's okay if you mess up, just make it thicker, as you see me doing. <laughs> but it, it ended up okay, so I was like, thank God. Because if you mess up your eyeliner, you mess up everything. It's like the eyeliner or the mascara. If you mess it up, you're like, good luck to you. Cause <laughs> that stuff's hard to even get off at the end of the day. Like, mm. so then doing the same thing, just flicking out that wing, and then dragging it in as much as I can to connect everything. And I was like, oh man, that side's a lot thicker. I gotta, I gotta go in again. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna be taking my Too Faced eyeliner, just lining the bottom lash line with this. And then I'm gonna be going in with the shade. Magical. I'm sorry, I had to look and see what shade it was. I took Magical and Shooting star and I mix them together and I'm just blending those underneath and smoking out my bottom lash line And then I'm gonna be taking the eco tools flat liner brush And I'm taking the shade potion and I'm just going to be tight lining that bottom, that bottom, that bottom lash line cannot talk All right, and then I'm curling my eyelashes on both sides. And then I'm just gonna be going in with the Tarte Tartist Mascara and just coating my eyelashes in this. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side, just coating my lashes with this beautiful mascara. And 
and I'm coating my bottom lashes just a little bit as well. And then I'm going to be going in with the Ultra Glossy Lip from the little trio that Kathleen came out with, and this is in the shade Moonchild, and I'm just going to be applying that all over my lips. And on my top lip, even though it's not really even there. <laughs> All right, guys, then that's the finished look.